guys, this is Lori with um, HappyNaturalHorse.com and Life's Abundant Riches. This is my uh, new Palomino. She is a registered Appaloosa. She was four when um, she arrived on the property. And believe it or not, she's another law of attraction. Um, I guess a gift from my dad. My um, beloved horse, Sabrina, passed on and she looked exactly like her. Um, she was just amazing horse. I could ride her everywhere. Unfortunately, when you turn a certain age, over 55, for some reason you learn. I don't know where it goes, but you get this fear. <laughs> I had this tremendous fear and it must have been the hormones or whatever. I don't know. But I ended up, my father had passed and um, my previous thoroughbred boogie who is now in horse heaven he was missing um sabrina my palomino and I, it was a rough year i lost everything i lost my palomino i lost my dad and i lost boogie and it was devastating to me if i didn't get another horse that was free i would not have any horses right now um of course my daughter would make sure that I would have some because she likes getting free horses. So, um, one day, true story, I was rubbing on Boogie when he was still here. And he was missing Sabrina because that was his lifelong partner. And um, I was like saying to him, you know, Boogie, what are the odds of getting another Palomino Appaloosa registered for free? You know, really, seriously. I mean, what are the odds? We're like one in a million. And um, it was no later than maybe two days um, later. And my daughter called me and she says, you won't believe it. She said, I just got a um, phone call. And the person that um, gave me King has a relative that has a Palomino Appaloosa. Four years old, not broke, but free. I'm like, not broke, free. Hardly any vaccines in her. So, I, you know, I'm driving there like in pick her up and I'm thinking like there's got to be something wrong with her and there was there was her hoof was damaged from a scar tissue which I have since remedied and she's sound and she was always sound and she looks identical to um, my mare and she acts a lot like my mare and you know with this weather you see I have to pull out the hay so we got some more snow last night lucky us <laughs> And the other thing that comes up is, you know, like, why do I have horses at my, you know, I'm 57. And I'll be honest with you, I've had horses basically all my life. I've always been a horse nut. Um, I'm, my goal is to ride more this year, but I do a lot of groundwork with the water hole rituals of Carol Resnick. And I do Pat Pirelli. I know a lot of people don't like Pat Pirelli, but to be honest with you, his first seven games, they do keep you safe. And it's, you know, it teaches you a lot, especially about the horsonalities. So I've been doing a lot of groundwork and I've been having a lot of fun with it and doing some agility. And that's created a bond between me and this um, horse. And I call her Spirit Dancer. That's what I named her. I call her Spirit. And sometimes I call her Baby Girl. And that's her buddy over there. That's Barley. He came to me free too. He wasn't a wish. He was just dropped off here because I needed a pony for my granddaughter and he's just one in a million he's just one in a million I love him and um, in this weather it has been really challenging as far as taking care of them the good news is is that if I didn't have them as much as I hate exercise which I've been trying to do weekly not very long this does keep me in better shape by hauling out the hay and by watering them and tromping through the snow and I do it because I love them. I always love horses. And my, my greatest fear is losing them. Again, you know, because I really miss my original herd. But um, I'm only going to keep these three. I have Dominic up there. He's still eating my other Appaloosa. But um, hopefully this year will be a better year for, for riding and for my new business that I acquired to learn about internet marketing because everybody's making so much money on internet marketing and I'm like why can't I you know why can't you you know everybody can if they just you know have the will to learn and the desire and you know my my passion is teaching people how to keep these horses healthy 
and um, and that's that's what I'm all about teaching you how to keep your horses healthy and but I didn't know how to market now I know how to market so anyway so I know this is long I just wanted to tell you my story and if you have a story about how you acquired your free horse or your horse and how it came to you after one of your horses passed I mean please share and um, subscribe to my channel thank you hi this is Lori and um, again <laughs> this is her hoof um, you can see the scar tissue there. It looks much, much better now. She's totally sound on it. I have a great farrier. And um, she's doing really well. So, mini sign. And this is Sabrina. Doesn't she look just like her? She was a lovely horse. We raised her from a baby. We absolutely love her. And we miss her a lot. But um, spirit helps. Thank you. Hi.